Hello! Today I'm going to review Arch Labs Linux 2018-02. Arch Labs is based on Arch Linux and inspired by the look and feel of Benson Labs, which is based on Debian. You can think of it as a open quotes port close quotes of Benson Labs from Debian Stable to Arch Linux. However, it has matured enough to stand out on its own and evolved into something much greater than a simple clone. As you guys know, Arch Linux is a rolling release distro, thus obviously Arch Labs, being a derivative, is also a rolling release distro. And of course, this means that this particular release I'm reviewing today is just a snapshot of the state of the repos at this point in time. That being said, this release happens at an important time in Arch Labs history, as the developers have introduced some major changes. For instance, they removed the Go Rise tool that allowed one click theming of the desktop. Their post install script, AL Hello, which allows easy installation of additional environments and applications, has also gone through a major overhaul. The installer has also been improved with minor fixes. And we can finally move on with the review as we are greeted with this beautiful desktop right after booting, as by default auto login is enabled. The boot time is worth mentioning. Since this distro is based on Arch Linux, I was already expecting a fast boot time. Well, I was not disappointed. It booted blazingly fast, under 5 seconds. This alone was already a great start to this review, as everyone loves fast booting times. Now, as you can see, Arch Labs is a lightweight Linux distro using OpenBox and Polybar by default to provide the user with a minimal desktop environment with great performance. In fact, OpenBox is just a window manager. So let's start by the top bar, which is Polybar. So off to the right, we have this sound icon. You can use the mouse wheel and scroll to increase or lower the volume. You can also click it to mute or unmute the sound. To the left we have the network icon which opens the network manager. Then we have some CPU and memory usage um, statistics here. If you press them it opens HTOP which is quite nice. It looks really nice. And you can see here that the memory usage right after booting is around 190 megs of RAM. Then further to the left, you see this message to update. If you click it, it opens Parkly, which is basically a front end to the Parkman package manager, allowing you to easily update your system or clean your system, install new packages, remove packages, etc. Let's press 1 to update the system. It asks for your password. And it asks if you want to proceed with installation. And it upgrades your system using Parkman. This is quite a nice tool and allows you to use Parkman without having to um, type any commands on the command line. So here you have uh, the clock, and if you click it, you get a nice little calendar. This icon allows you to select 
uh, running application, it shows an overview of all the running applications. And towards the left, you have the, the several um, virtual, pa uh, virtual um, desktops. One, two, three, and four. And finally, you can see here that your system is up to date now. To return to Pakli, press Enter. And zero to exit. And towards the far left, you have the application menu, which is JG menu. Going through the application menu, we have accessories, file manager, which is Thuna, quite a popular file manager. And also the terminal emulator, which is Termite. Oh, and as you can see, it runs NeoFetch as you run it, allowing you to see some nice info about the system. Like, for instance, the kernel version, which is 4.15.5-1. And the total number of packages installed in your system, 757. Now, this is not a lot in my opinion. Uh, surely you could have a lower number of packages installed out of the box, but I definitely don't consider Arch Labs a bloated distro. It's quite a nice balance between a minimalist distro and having the right amount of popular apps installed out of the box. Oh, there's also the Vim Editor, which is my favourite. And under Internet, we have the Firefox web browser, which looks really amazing in this dark theme. Let's check the version. And as expected, it's a recent version, 58.0.2. This is um, based in Arch Linux, which is a rolling release distro. So, uh, as expected, this is quite a bleeding edge version. Now, let me show you this button again. As you can see, it shows you an overview of the currently running applications so that you can easily switch between them. You can pick, for instance, the browser or some terminal or any other application that is currently running. And uh, programming, there's Genie, which is also a nice editor. Not my favorite one, but I know that a lot of people use Genie, so I think it's a wise decision to include it um, by default. And now sound and video, we have Audacious, the music player which is quite low on resources. And the MPV media player. In system tools, we have HTOP. Oh, and that's Ranger, which is my personal favorite file manager because it's very keyboard friendly. You use the Vim um, shortcuts to navigate through your folders. This distro is quite friendly to keyboard users, as you can see. And finally, the Preferences menu. We have this customized look and feel application, 
which basically allows you to choose the overall theme of your desktop. Right now we have, we have the Art Labs dark theme selected, but there's a lot of different themes which you can choose here. You can also choose a different theme for your icons, mouse cursor, window border, and different fonts. And let's also go through the open box menu itself. You have this places menu so that you can quickly go to one of your folders and there's also this preferences menu and under settings there's this interesting panel chooser art labs panel chooser which basically asks you what would you like to do and select an option between setup polybar which is the default um, top bar or panel and you can also choose uh, to set up tint too in case you're not a fan of polybar and prefer tint too instead let's do it and as you can see, it instantly replaces Polybar with Tint 2, which also looks amazing and even more minimalist. There's also a Conky Chooser. And if you select ArchLabs.ConkyRC and press OK, it runs a Kanki with a nice configuration. It looks pretty simple, clean and nice. I really like the looks of this distro. As usual, I'll open a terminal to run the Spectre Meltdown checker script. But first, let's update the system using Parkman. As you can see, this is Z shell instead of Parsh. And the system is already up to date. Now let's cd into Spectre Meltdown Checker. Sudo Spectre Meltdown Checker. Oh, and to my surprise, or maybe not, since I'm really enjoying this distro, Arch Labs is not vulnerable to any of Spectre Variant 1, Spectre Variant 2, and Meltdown Variant 3. This is quite quite good news and makes me consider this distro um, a secure distro. This is the first distro that I'm reviewing that is not vulnerable to any of these variants. And specifically here, um, under Spectra Variant 2, you can see that Mitigation 2, in Mitigation 2, the kernel is compiled with RedPoline option and the kernel is also compiled with a RedPoline aware compiler. And of course, like most other distros, it is also running the KPTI mitigation, so therefore it is not vulnerable to a meltdown. So yeah, for all those security aware users, you can see that 
status not vulnerable for all three variants of these latest uh, security vulnerabilities that were found and um, disclosed in January. So now some final words about Arch Labs. I really enjoy this distro. It is a minimalist yet um, well equipped distro that comes with some nice software out of the box and the performance is outstanding like you would expect from a distro which is based on Arch Linux. The boot time is blazingly fast. It booted under 5 seconds and the whole distro feels quite snappy. Um, applications run without any visible delay it's really, really responsive. And the number of packages installed out of the box isn't, um, isn't bloated at all. This feels like a distro that um, makes a nice compromise between the number of packages and the functionality that it provides for the users. So yeah, I would consider it quite a well balanced distro. It's quite well balanced. And I would definitely recommend it to everyone who would like to use a rolling release distro but doesn't want to go through the process that Arch Linux requires you to go through. Um, because, you know, Arch Labs provides a nice installer, a graphical installer, which is quite easy for any user to, to use and install this distro. So, yeah, um, this was a pleasure to review and I recommend this distro to almost everyone unless you don't want to use a rolling release distro which has um, bleeding edge versions of software. If you are more into LTS distros, then this is not for you. But other than that, I see no reason why you shouldn't use this distro. So, if you'd like to watch more videos like this one, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. And as always, use Linux long and prosper.